What's up guys? So it's been a minute since we uploaded a video. Um, a lot has happened in the past, uh, I don't know, month or two. Um, the eclipse is almost done. Uh, I do have some video of when I was working on it, but I was just trying to meet a deadline. Uh, I was trying to take it to Ocean City for H2O. Uh, however, unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen. So pretty much what happened was uh, I got the car almost done, um, ready to, for it to be tuned. Uh, so I took it to the tune shop, um, which was like a week and a half uh, before H2O. Um, and then it sat there for a week. Um, and uh, after the, the, the tuner got, got to it, got some time to work on it a little bit, uh, he had it on the dyno and he realized that I didn't wire in the wideband into the ECU. Now, I didn't know I had to do that. I thought the factory sensor uh, was good for tuning, but uh, apparently these run narrow bands since they are pretty old ECUs. Um, but with the DSM link uh, and the AEM wideband, which I already have in the car, uh, I just have to connect up the wires and that'll give me a wideband reading. So uh, I picked up the car um, the day that I got back from H2O uh, and it's kind of just been driving it around a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll break the clutch in a little better, but I mean, it runs, it runs a little rough. Um, so the issue that I'm gonna be working on today is um, the idle is at like between 1500 to 2000, I guess whatever it feels like on a, on a given day. Um, so I'm going to try to adjust the bis screw, uh, which, I mean, I don't really know much about it or how to do it, but uh, there's a write-up that I'm going to be following, and uh, hopefully uh, with the video you guys can follow along if you ever need to do that to your car. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, bring this thing in the shop and kind of show you around, uh, let you know, you know, let you always see it, because uh, it looks pretty sweet. I'm pretty pumped. But um, yeah, so uh, I'm about to bring it in and uh, then we'll walk around it real quick and get it to adjusting this screw. All right guys, so here it is all kind of put together for the most part. Uh, still miss, missing a few pieces here and there, but uh, yeah, this is how I, I took it to the tune shop and I haven't been really working on it the past couple days, but uh, I do need to get it done soon. So yeah, so it was pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I did take it to a local car meet and I got some uh, tension. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, um, so here's what it looks like in the engine bay. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so the screw that I'm going to be adjusting is going to be that one right there, I believe. Um, and that should uh, change my idle, hopefully. I got to drop it down like a thousand RPM. So. All right guys, so uh, in a minute here, I'll, I'll let you know all the tools you're gonna need. Uh, hopefully I have everything I need. I, I have the assembly link. I, I know, I read online that you need some sort of diagnostic tool, which is like expensive or something like that. So, but I, I think with the assembly link, I should be able to uh, ground out the ECU pin and uh, uh, adjust the screw. So hopefully that'll work. So yeah, um, let's get to it then. All right, so in order to do this, you're gonna need uh, a laptop and hopefully the SM link will work. I think it should, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it a try. And uh, I think it's just a screwdriver and you should be able to adjust it. Um, the engine has to be, from what I read, the engine has to be at operating temperature, uh, no lights on or anything like that, anything that would uh, 
create a load on the engine. And yeah, so you're gonna start up the car. Give me one second. So, turn on my laptop over here. Let me uh, plug in my little uh, DSL cable. Here it is. That plugs in right over here somewhere underneath the. That just plugs in right underneath the dash over in the corner. Two thousand years later. I'm gonna stick my head under there. All right, so we're all plugged in. Um, now. Start up this vehicle. So, as you can see, it's idling at about 1500 right now, but it goes up to 2000 sometimes. better huh. yeah so here it is so again all I adjusted was just this one screw right over here um, for some reason mine was all the way out which makes sense then that the idle was so high but yeah this is what it sounds like from behind sounds pretty dang good Yeah guys, that was it. Um, again, I'm just gonna show you real quick uh, the, one second. So the, if you guys have ECM link, um, I believe that what you need to do uh, before adjusting that screw is just go on to um, the underneath the miscellaneous uh, tab. You just gotta click the ground, out, ground diagnostic pin to ECU. Um, after you do that, after you ground out that pin, you can uh, go ahead and adjust that screw and I think that should be good. Now, I'm not an expert, this is my first TSM, so if I'm telling you something that's gonna blow up your car, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't blow up mine so far, hopefully. Um, I do have the IAC deleted. Um, I don't know if that would change anything uh, for this process. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I, I will be posting more DSM content soon um, and just uh, random car stuff, I guess. You know, I love cars. That's what I do. Thank you, guys. Peace.